the internet has decided to ragdoll or to you know tease Tremaine Emery again it seems like ever since that whole Supreme thing went down it seems like every other week there's a reminder on the timeline of why maybe some people within you know black Twitter and other parts of social media maybe on the fashion side of things aren't really the biggest fans of Ye I don't know if Tremaine sorry what do I call him Ye for and he's getting it again now recently because pictures came out of his wedding got what he got I guess married to somebody called Andy um, that happened over the weekend. So congratulations to Tremaine Emery. And people were basically commenting when they saw the picture sprayed over social media, as this person says in the caption, I know that it ain't who I think it is. Never mind, let me mind my business. And obviously everybody in the comments sort of like, you know, added their two cents into it. Um, one person says, ha just like you. Another one says, the coonery is crazy. Another one says, Barry won't say nothing about yay though. Um, it's always the dudes who look like African studies professors, fetishizing the pro-blackness and not actually living it is crazy. Um, blah, 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 blah. And the other comment I heard, which is really mean, was like, oh, it doesn't matter because Tremaine's ugly anyway. Why are people acting as if, why are black women on Twitter acting as if they date him? He's the kind of guy that would date white girls because black girls think he's ugly, which is kind of a crazy thing to say. Very, very mean. But you see a lot of people being mean online because I guess they don't really like his positions that he had regarding um, some of the choices that he was putting together or some of the things he went to put together when he said Supreme. So we're going to go through some of the bits and pieces. But for me, the most concerning part for me was the actual clip of it, of him of him walking out of the courthouse i'm guessing it was or the wed or the registry where it looks like he's suffering he's actually struggling to walk it looks like he permanently has to sorry walk with a cane by all accounts every lower the sound a bit it looks like he always had to walk with a cane as he's walking away and he's really struggling to walk like for real not even like he's got a slight limp his legs aren't really working the way they used to work He's kind of got this odd sort of like clumping walking pattern. So that aneurysm he suffered from has really negatively affected him. So God bless this guy. Hope he does get a speedy recovery very, very soon. And he's back to full health because that's pretty sad to see, man. The guy is super young still. He's in his 40s, I think. For him to be in a position where he's not unable to walk the way he used to walk is really, really tragic. I'm not going to lie. Like he's actually struggling to walk. Do you know what I mean? He's got this really like clumpy way of walking. At least he's still got his legs, so that's pretty good. But that's the only sad thing about it. So people are obviously commenting on that online and being or whatever odd about it. But he looks happy. They're in love. They had the wedding. Well done to them, right? Everything was good. Well, not so much because some of the quotes from people online have been kind of ravaged. I'm going to kind of go through a few of them and then obviously give you my comment at the end. We can marvel at the creative brilliance of Kanye West, Virgil Abloh and Tremaine Emery, but there's something profoundly fascinating that they all got to the highest echelons of global fashion using black culture capital and not a single one of them has a black wife. Another one says, LOL, I'm not going to even get started, but it's crazy because the most upright Negro negatuses people in this world don't even marry black queens don't even make sense there's nothing you can do to explain this scenario because i know how my black parents raised me which is interesting because essentially you're saying your black parents parents told you that you can't love outside of your race at all under any circumstances which is kind of crazy but hey let's continue um it's always the identity crisis brothers that are the most pro-black um ain't this nigga the one that put slaves on a t-shirt lmao my people losing it man another one says oh nah nigga gonna start shouting dead in tears went to go marry um cause of said tears you can't make this one up another one says pro black ting is the easiest money grab another one says i just can't get past him wanting to sell t-shirts of black people being lynched to suburban white kids another one says what the tremaine Another one says, this nigga with a fascination for cotton logos and putting lynchings on t-shirts is swimming in the skin milk. Um, I wish I could say this. I wish I could say I saw this coming. Another one says, oh, that's a bit of a double entendre there, isn't it, right? Swimming in skin milk. Wish I could saw this one coming. Anyway, let's continue. Um, niggas like him probably think the pro-black thing um, to do is to marry a white woman. If probably um another one says hello most pro black gents don't marry black women another one says duh, 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 duh. another one says oh i hate this nigga bitch even more now every single day on this earth is a comedy so you got the kind of gist of what people are saying to me i've got a different way of looking at these things personally right a very different way of looking at them because in my personal opinion maybe it's a european thing I've never really understood 
the preference people have when it comes to race personally especially if you live in a multicultural city it's almost limiting your options to be like i only date a certain type of people it's really odd it's really strange because the whole beauty of living in a metropolitan multicultural city is that you get to interact with so many different people from all around the world and depending on what industries or what sector of the you know job market you work in you might inter intersect with different people who you probably would never see in your everyday life that might lead to you having some different relationships and friendships that you probably would never have if you didn't work in said field so all these things sort of influence your decisions in terms of who you date the reality of it is sometimes which people don't know what i talk about there is a really odd double standard that exists on social media when it comes to black guys who date white and white women who date white when you see a quote-unquote black queen with her white guy and a knight in shining armor, figuratively speaking, you see a lot of people in the comments celebrating it, being happy of it, because usually, for whatever reason, the white dudes who are into black girls on social are like incredible boyfriends. They go out of their way to give them crazy gifts. They're always loving them in in full chest HD out on the timeline saying crazy things about them taking them on surprise dates like all the things that girls love boys to do um romantically for them especially in a social media kind of you know uh, kind of way of things those guys do really well so props to them but you definitely see a better reaction a more positive reaction to people seeing a black queen with a white guy than a white black guy with a white girl which is odd to me because i feel like if you don't if you have an issue with people dating outside of the race which is odd but if you have that issue fair enough it should apply across the board. You shouldn't have a double standards way of looking at things where you think, oh, because it's a woman, it's okay. Because black guys are trifling and they're down, they're down bad. They're no good. So it's only natural that she'd have to go outside of the race because black guys are fucking, you know, the waste of space. They're absent the dads and shit. They're horrible. They're cheese. All this stuff people say, they justify that by you know them going and choosing white but then when a black guy does it suddenly it's an issue so the double standards for me have always been a problem i'd never really understood that the decision to only date a certain people because that's what you're into and limiting yourself is also odd because you're limiting yourself to not being open to love in all its different shapes and sizes colors and creeds but again what do i know right but i do understand how funny it is for someone like tremaine who's been on a campaign to sort of remind people of his blackness, to sort of make that his front and center message when it comes to his artistry and his practice and shit, to also be the same dude who's sitting there saying, Supreme is systemically racist, and then coming out with the most whitest girl you could ever come out with, right? Again, no snock on her, but it's just funny to just see that. I understand that just the humor of that contrast is very, very funny because we also never saw, I never saw it. Maybe he kept it secret. I don't really know. Maybe I wasn't looking too deeply enough, but I also never saw an inkling of what she looked like before. I knew that he had a partner because I think he mentioned it in a couple of interviews, but he never actually saw what she looked like. So maybe there was a purposeful attempt to keep her off the timeline so she doesn't get abuse. And obviously because he maybe had a known the reaction of what it would have been considering the things he speaks about but it also throws up another question can you not be pro-black and also date outside your race why does one thing impact the other why can't you be advocating for your people but also when it comes to your friendships and because no one says that if you have only white friends really you don't really see people throwing out the same type of comments if all your friends happen to be white but when it comes to dating white suddenly you're a race traitor or something like it's very odd so i don't really know why that happens the comforting thing for these guys these newlyweds is that it only exists on the internet for the most part no one's really gonna say anything to you in real life about who you decide to love who you decide to fucking spend the life rest of your life with it's really no one's business and most of the time they never will say anything you might get the odd you know weird look from from a couple of people from your community but apart from that it usually isn't a problem so it wouldn't really matter but like i said the double standards on social media are super 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 interesting but there also is maybe a little bit of um credence to the idea that maybe the guy wouldn't have the greatest options if he did try and date in his race anyway because that's other cold reality of the truth of this situation that people don't like to talk about and i think i've mentioned it myself in some of my experiences when i was growing up uh, them as being quote unquote multicultural but they did have probably a majority of black people and you know a, a, what i'd call black and brown people that kind of depicting asians kind of being part of the brown people group and for the most part because you know i lived in kind of poor areas and whatnot 
these kind of schools would usually have the same amount of people you know racial breakdown people that there are in there i unfortunately um was sort of like the person that was into things that maybe people within my racial group aren't necessarily into when it comes to the music i listen to when it comes to skateboarding when it comes to you know other things i was into it didn't really align with how most people within my racial demographic acted so again i didn't blame the girls really because i thought if you had to compare me to the quote-unquote hot boy in the hood um i probably didn't line up or didn't compete well with that guy or girl because i didn't wear certain things i didn't listen to certain things i didn't talk a certain way so i understand it it just made it difficult it didn't make it impossible it just made it difficult like to kind of date black girls because they just didn't see me as cool but over time i think what i realized it was less so about what i was into and more so about me not having any risk not having any game the moment i started to develop a little bit more ability to talk to girls suddenly it didn't really matter what they looked like or what i looked like there would always be a sometimes a opportunity for an interest there to be had so i like that to have i like that happening and i think as life progressed and i got a bit older i started to have a little bit more success with dating black girls because i just had better game and i was able to kind of you know it didn't really matter what i looked like or what interest i had they were able to maybe see past that and see that i was a quote-unquote good guy i'm sure there are some people who don't have my experience who maybe have the experience of always getting rejected by people that look like you then suddenly you move away and go to college somewhere um, maybe in an area not like yours maybe the racial breakdown is a little bit more skewed the white way and now suddenly all the things that used to get teased about or that would count you out or rule you out with certain girls are now the things that are making you attractive to them now some of it can be a little bit uncomfortable because some of the girls could also have a fetish for black guys because you're the sort of for lack of a better term the exotic option they've never had before because they've always lived in a white area so having this you know this streetwear mandingo next to them might be something that might amuse them but i feel like there are so many kind of things that go into people's dating decisions that it really is no one's business and it really doesn't matter why they decide to go for it i think it should be more so the works that you do the things that you do for people should count more than who you actually date that should be a better qualifier of are you helpful to your race or whatnot are you trying to push things forward create a different a better future for people that look like you coming up next you know round because most likely you would assume with denim tears features or tremaine's features and shit no matter what happens they're probably going to have a kid that's going to be considered to be more black than it is white most likely so even though you are dating technically outside of your race you're still going to have a kid that's going to navigate the world and quickly understand that even though their mom is white and their dad is black the world sees them as being black so in fact you're still raising a black child you know what i mean so like all that stuff that people talk about is kind of mute because that kid's still gonna go through the same things that people like me go through and other people and stuff and um, when it comes to discrimination and shit so that kind of adds to it but i think at the crux of it for me it's disappointing like i said before because i feel like this video of tremaine walking out of the courthouse with his wife to be and stuff is legitimately one of the more depressing and distressing things about it because he's quite young and the fact that he's struggling to walk the way that he is after suffering that aneurysm that should be the thing people should be focusing on more and sending this guy's praying his prayers and wishing healing on him so that he can get back to how he was before because you know to see somebody like as young as him go through what he went through having to walk with a cane every single day looking like he's sitting down every place he's going to going that online we see him at different events he's always sitting down and shit because clearly maybe his legs are hurting him he's still trying to get used to walking the way that he does and whatnot it's just sad to see and i think people should probably be concentrating more on that and sending him well wishes of getting well soon than trying to pick apart his you know who he decides to date and shit it's not really that interesting to be honest don't get me wrong there's a chuckle to be had as people have mentioned on these threads that i'm kind of reading here these quotes on twitter and shit people are mentioning the hypocrisy of it all i get it but i think overall the general message should be you know let's maybe try and push the idea of guys treating whoever they're with with levels of respect and decency and love let's make sure that if they do decide to have kids that they're not a deadbeat dad those things should be way more important than making sure the person that they're dating is of a certain color and creed especially with the way the world is at the moment